Wow, I did not expect to wake up to that news. Yo, Sonic news is crazy, bro. It just like literally could come at any time, any moment, and it's always absolutely insane. We got our classic Sonic shirt on to represent today because we just got some great news. But before we get into that, I'm going to need you guys to subscribe to the channel right now. I'll give you a second. And hopefully you guys have on notifications because I'm dropping a classic Sonic music video soon, actually, so this is actually very appropriate. So have you guys heard the news? Well, let's go take a look. Sonic Origins Plus has just been rated in Korea. So you guys see it right here. This is from Tails Channel. So obviously, when Tails Channel talks, I listen. So if you guys look right here, it's also been confirmed by Sonic Stadium as well. Breaking Sonic Origins Plus been rated in Korea. Could an update compilation be on the way? So now that it's confirmed that we're going to be getting some type of expansion, some type of DLC, maybe even a new release for Sonic Origins. We're going to go over a couple things today. So what we're going to go over is obviously the news. We're going to talk about what this means for the future of Sonic going forward. We're going to talk about what to expect, like based off of previous Sonic port collections and their new expansions. What can we expect as far as content goes for this new Sonic Origins Plus? And we're going to talk about some things that I just personally want to see. It's going to be a good video, guys. Make sure to watch the entire thing. It's very important to do that. I would totally appreciate that. So let's get into the news. Let's get into all the topics and let's not waste your time. Let's get right into it. You know, it's kind of crazy because because 2022 was the year of Sonic. Obviously, we got Sonic Origins, Sonic Frontier, Sonic Movie, and Sonic Prime. And the crazy thing is, it's kind of ironic, 2023 is the year of Sonic 2.0 because we're getting Sonic Frontier, Sonic Prime, more Sonic Origins, and Sonic Movie stuff. So basically, everything that was peak about 2022 is coming in 2023. With the feedback and the positive reception, it's gonna carry over and hopefully make these products even better. So I'm very excited about that. Sonic Origins, it's kind of surprising, was actually the least well-received project of 2022. I think in terms of like fan reception, like the fan base absolutely loved Frontiers for the most part. Everyone loved the movie. Everyone liked Prime. But Origins, which should have been a slam dunk, like I think out of all these projects, like this was supposed to be the one that was a layup. You know what I mean? Like it was going to set the tone for the year. Kind of similar to Sonic Mania when Sonic Forces came out. Like that was just guaranteed to be good. You know what I mean? And it really flopped. There was a lot of glitches. There was a lot of issues with the soundtrack and stuff like that. Personally, I thought Origins was a very fine collection. I personally was just happy to get Sonic 3 and Knuckles and Y screen and the drop dash in all those games and the drop dash being introduced in the game was a nice change they added like the the boss mode and they added the challenge mode and stuff like that there was a lot of good things to like about it but some people also didn't like the price tag on it 40 dollars was kind of a lot there was no physical release there was a lot of things that they got wrong with this collection and i'll admit that but overall it's nice you know what i mean so now we have to look forward towards the future and kind of what to expect with this port collection and what to expect with the plus tagline for this collection so the question is is this going to be just a DLC? Is it going to be a standalone release? Well, we have to look back in the past for other plus additions as well. So the most recent one was Sonic Mania Encore. What do we get in Sonic Mania Encore? It was like a continuation of Sonic Forces plotline, which is pretty cool. So you got to see like the aftermath of what happens to Classic Sonic. Who is our king? We love Classic Sonic. We got a brand new mode called Encore Mode which gave us a couple new zones. It was like a new story mode. We also got two new playable characters. So we got Mighty, the Armadillo, and Ray, the Flying Squirrel. Personally, everyone loves Mighty. I'm not really the biggest fan of Mighty and Ray, but most people like them, so they're cool. The cool thing about Mighty and Ray is with, they weren't just like reskins. They also had like their own like actual moveset and abilities. So I'll get into that a little bit later as to why this could be similar. But yeah, they added new zones. They revamped a lot of stuff. There was actually a lot of content in this DLC. They had updates to the multiplayer modes, which is something that I always wanted in Sonic Origins, but they, you know, it was kind of bare bones, bare minimum. They added features like you could do replays for time attack, a lot of quality of life stuff, and it was received very well by critics. Like everyone really liked the Sonic Mania Encore collection. So hopefully we can get a similar level of content, but there's one other thing I want to look at and kind of just set the expectations for what we could see. So the other collection I wanted to look at was Sonic Mega Collection and Sonic Mega Collection Plus. So these were very similar. So Mega Collection was released as a GameCube exclusive, and it was basically an enhanced port of the original Mega Collection that actually came out for PS2 and and Xbox and PC. So it had all the game's original content, but the reason why this is interesting to point out, because it included extra games. So, you know, it was like that original port collection, Sonic 1, 2, 3, but it had like extra, but like I said, it had extra content, extra illustrations, new menus, and those extra games. So these are the two collections I want to hone in on when talking about what we need to see and what I expect to see. So what do we need to see? Well, based off of these two collections, I would like to see additional games, maybe some Game Gear games, maybe like some other games that weren't really widely available. I'm thinking Knuckles 
Chaotix. Maybe Sonic Spinball. I kind of hate that game. Sonic 3D. Sonic 3D Blast. Flicky's Island. Some extra Game Gear games. Maybe Sonic R. I mean, I don't think we'll see this. Maybe Sonic the Fighters. Like, some of those older games would be nice to see. There's no guarantee about that, though. My guess is they're probably going to stick with the original four games because it's the Sonic Origins collection. I don't think they're going to go into those other games. But they did add games in previous collections. So you can't really rule out anything until things are confirmed. I would like to see some additional content. Maybe some extra artwork. Maybe some new animations. Like, new animations that they did for Sonic Origins were probably, like, one of the reasons that, like, people actually like this game and why people bought it. The animated cutscenes between games was honestly really awesome. It kind of helped, like, tell the story of the classic Sonic games in a way that the Sega Genesis really couldn't. I would like to see additional modes, like, new challenges, updated multiplayer features. I per I mean, listen, I would love online multiplayer. Like, I would love to race my friends in a classic Sonic game online, similar to Classic Sonic Simulator, but we know that's, like, not gonna happen. I don't know how something as cool as Classic Sonic Simulator is only on Roblox. Like, literally some guy on Roblox made an online Classic Sonic game where you could race your friends and it's, like, super fun. It's probably one of the best Sonic Roblox games, if not the best. I don't know how they put that in Roblox, but Sega couldn't put that in Sonic Origins. I guess it's wishful thinking. Like, I could we couldn't just get, like, a 1v1 kind of thing online. Like, come on, Sega. What the freaking heck, bro? Seriously. But, yeah, I would love to see that. I mean, it has all the characters. It's got, like, Shadow. It's got Metal Sonic. It's got Amy. It's got... Literally, Eggman is playable. It has all these characters. We couldn't get that for Sonic Origins. I made a whole video about that a couple months ago, but I would love to see that, but obviously, they're not gonna include that in an expansion. And I think something that's really likely is we might see new characters. So, when I think of this, I think of Amy and Metal Sonic. These are two characters that are featured in the cutscenes of these games, but they're not actually playable in the game. So, I think it's possible. Similar to Sonic Mania Encore, where we got two characters, it's possible we could see two characters. That's something I think we need to see. Amy would be cool with, like, the hammer move set. I think that'd be really good for platforming. Metal Sonic is just, like, cool. We've never been able to play as classic Metal Sonic in a 2D side scroller, so I think that'd be really cool. I think another thing we can expect to see, as with Sonic Mania, was we'll probably see, like, some more QOL stuff, and we'll probably see some bug fixes, which obviously is an issue that a lot of people have with the game. Any type of glitches and stuff that you may have seen in Sonic Origins, I would expect some of that to be cleaned up in Sonic Origins Plus. Out of all things, if we don't get anything, I think that's one thing that we will get. And I really, out of all things, I want a physical release. I, I don't care about anything else. I just want to get this game physical. Like, I've been stockpiling physical games ever since GameStop robbed me a couple years. I sold my entire collection when I was a kid. Yeah, it literally haunts me to this day. So that's why I'm stockpiling physical games, especially for the Switch. So I would like to see a physical release, but I think multiple characters is something that's definitely likely. I would like to see new levels, maybe new takes on the levels. I see updated multiplayer features, more cutscenes, more additional content, artwork, behind the scenes stuff, and maybe new games. This is all stuff that was brought into previous classic Sonic Collection DLC. So it's likely we'll see at least some of it. You know what I mean? Not sure when this will come out. I'm assuming probably later on this year, probably around the summertime, maybe late spring, but we're just going to have to wait and see. But let me know what you guys think about this. This is pretty major news. Let me know if you guys think my predictions or, you know, stuff like that is spot on. I got nothing else to say to you guys until I see you next time. Peace out.